Hi, welcome to Helicopter Training Videos. This is uh, the first in a series of videos looking at basic helicopter aerodynamics. In this one we're going to look at the three axes of rotation. The first axis we're going to look at is called the vertical axis. Like all axes of the rotation, uh, it runs through the center of gravity of the aircraft. In this case, the vertical axis runs, as it implies, vertically, uh, straight up and down through the center of gravity. On this axis, we yaw the helicopter left and right by using the anti-torque pedals. Here we have a view of a helicopter from above, and if we put in left anti-torque pedal, we would yaw the helicopter left on the vertical axis. And likewise, if we were to put in right pedal, we would rotate the helicopter right on the yaw axis, or vertical axis. Here we have a quick example in the real world. This is uh, Chris Strain piloting with Jared Douglas sat next to him, demonstrating a controlled left pedal turn. So he's yawing to the left by putting in left pedal, and he's rotating around on the vertical axis. Let's have a look at the longitudinal axis. That runs uh, horizontally from front to back or back to front uh, through the aircraft, again through the center of gravity. The longitudinal axis allows us to roll left and right on that axis, and that rolling motion is controlled by the cyclic. Here we have the helicopter viewed from behind. If we were to put in left cyclic, we would roll the helicopter left, and obviously if we were to put in right cyclic, we would roll the helicopter right. Here we have Chris and Jared again, and they're demonstrating rolling on the longitudinal axis. So you can see we're rolling to the right here as the aircraft comes around, striking to roll out to the left to straighten up. The final axis to look at is the lateral axis. This horizontal axis runs from left to right or right to left through the helicopter through the center of gravity. Along this axis uh, allows us to pitch the helicopter forward and backwards or up and down depending on how you look at it. That pitch control is again controlled by the cyclic. Looking at a helicopter from a side here, if we were to pull aft or backwards with the cyclic, we would pitch the helicopter up or nose the helicopter up. And if we were to push the cyclic forward, obviously gently, remember our SVAR 73 awareness training for low G pushovers in the 22, but if we were to push the cyclic forward, we would pitch the aircraft down or nose the aircraft down. Chris and Jared again demonstrating uh, movement on the lateral axis, so he's pitching back or upwards, nosing up, and now he's pushing forward with the cyclic to level the ship on the lateral axis, getting the ship nice and level for the full down. For more information on the three axes, you can reference the Helicopter Flying Handbook or the Pilot Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge, both published by the FAA. They have aerodynamics sections in them. We also have the ASA Helicopter Oral Exam Guide and the ASA Private Test Prep, both which have uh, preparation questions for you and on aerodynamics. And finally, my last tip would be to just practice drawing these aerodynamic um, principles out. Uh, they're going to come up in check rides maybe, and it's most likely in your career at some point you may be teaching. So start early, start drawing these things out. It'll help you memorize them better and have a deeper understanding and get used to how you want to draw these things out. Any feedback, any questions, very welcome. Please get, get back to us, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.